Hold on. Should we? Because I've got a loud ass mechanical keyboard. It's fine. So I'm worried that as soon as I start going, it's gonna. It's that's all the noise. It's gonna be. Don't worry. We're fine. <laughs> Completely okay. fine. So now someone. Yeah, I've been studying uni over here. And, I'm almost free. And your address is uh, 50... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. And so what have you been studying, Troy? Tell the folks at home so that they have an idea of what you are and who you are and, and what your priorities are in this world. We're going to be talking about LGBT rights sure... today. That's, uh, that's Yeah, I'm pretty is. sure uh, you've watched the movie The Matrix. It's a very cult classic indie movie. Oh yeah. Uh, well, you know the scene where all the numbers, like green, flashing in front of his office. That's me on a daily basis. That's you. Okay. Um, yeah, I plug, I plug uh, my computer directly into my spine, and that's me for <laughs> eight hours. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so wh where should we go? The first job. We always take forever. Everybody in the comments complains that we take forever to can uh, you, find a job. Can you do? Like, can you move nukes? Well, like Not yet. Our driver can... rating, unfortunately, is at a lead mean 2.3 out of a possible 10. Uh, it, I see. When Chez comes on, it gets higher, and when anybody else comes on... Oh, holy shit, that's the physics engine just waking well, up worry. there. <laughs> I'm sure with me on it, we can get it down to a 1. It's oh. like golf, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, like, it's just like golf. You, you've got it. Yep. So yeah, uh, so uh, for those of us who don't know my detailed personal biography, which is you know, a surprisingly small part of the Truck Buddies community. Uh, Troy and I uh, have been the closest of friends for years. Uh, you know, recent developments in our geographical locations have meant that we've communicated less. But, um, mm. you know, there's still a passionate bromance that goes on here. Uh, every... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. But yeah. I, I couldn't have said it any better myself. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean... What made you go into software engineering? You said before that it was like, if I remember correctly, that it was like programming, but it sounded cool. It would sound cooler on a CV. Do you want to know why you got into programming or specifically software engineering? Well, a bit of both. Go, go first with programming and then go into... Yeah. I blame you, Rico. You blame, blame me. You, cause, oh, geez. Yeah. Because back in high school, yeah. uh, I, was, I was perfectly happy being lazy. And then you decided to do... I think it was informatics or some kind of programming course. And you're like, Troy, it's so cool. We're all doing it. Join us. Yep. And, and so I did. And that's why I like programming. Damn. Because I had a beaten into me as a kid. Because uh, of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. I, I miserably failed that informatics challenge. It was... The, you see, the trick to doing that yeah, was I, actually... Yeah, I did too. Don't worry. Oh, oh. That, I, I got so worked up about that for years because I... As... I didn't appreciate high school. I mean, I, w I wish that my university now was like high school. They swapped because like my university is rigid AF. You get like one elective a semester and that's it. I've gone on about this before, which is like, I feel like in high school, at least for my stupid ass, I needed that structure in the beginning to like, bef because before you can pick what you're good at, you need to be like forced a little bit by teachers to like explore what your potential is and your interests and then you know because before you know your times tables you can't accurately say whether or not you like math and before you know you know about mm. i don't know the biological hierarchies you can't say whether or not you like it so maybe that's like the only that's the only advantage i see in like compulsory learning because like if yeah if you never if you never get the basics nobody likes the basics everything sucks at the beginning like movies suck in the first 20 seconds books suck in the first 20 pages life sucks for the you know the vast majority <laughs> but um beyond that so the point i was making is that uh it, it, in high school the, the high school that we went to 
I think doxing, saying that would be a bit too much doxing. There were a lot of yeah. options. And for the people that were a bit more mature and like more uh, independent at the time, it was beautiful because if you didn't like a subject and it didn't, you know, you already knew that you were never going to do that in life. What's the point of spending, you know, time with it? Whereas the Russian system is like, it gives you a bit of everything. You get become a jack of all trades and master of none. But um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I still think about picking that informatics challenge because I did like music, informatics, digital photography. I just picked a bunch of random shit because it seemed interesting and I like committed to nothing. <laughs> but I mean- Did we do digital photography together? I did a bit of digital photography in the year that I left uh, school when my mom was like, that's oh. it. You, you can't concentrate all of this gaming all of this shit what the reasonable solution rather than figuring out your gaming addiction is to move across the fucking planet and that would be fine which in retrospect besides the trauma was like more or less you know but um it, it always stuck with me the fact that uh that challenge was populated by people that were very very gifted like a lot of them and um most of them were very humble about it and so it was this humbling experience to discover all of these people that were far more sort of, uh, you know, uh, I guess, you know, able, I guess, in that respect. And so that was a massive reality check for me. But, you know, I've been, uh, it was certainly a, an interesting experience. I'm, don't worry, Rick, I'm pretty sure we got like the same mark <laughs> for that course. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I remember and I'm fairly sure that we got pretty similar marks. Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, but no, going back to like uh, mandatory courses, like I'd say maths is probably like the the key example of this, where you need to do the basics of maths before you can start to do the more complicated stuff like calculus and all that. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. But then there's there's like English, right? I, I'm pu I'm pretty happy with uh, how I went through high school. Yeah. I don't have any like, major regrets except for English. So really? I was so lazy in that course. Yeah. If you need me to like type code perfectly fine but i did like i had to do my thesis last year for the yeah. course i'm doing here at uni which means i had to write like almost ten thousand words and it was so annoying and so aggravating i had to get my sister to proofread it for me because i didn't trust my own writing jesus um, have you tried grammarly I, I, by I the way blame, i wasn't going to spend money i have a I grammarly thing if you want to waste just, hours oh, yeah that <laughs> <laughs> just the just the the, the 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 fun of wasting a sibling's hours, mm. <laughs> not wasting. Exactly. Yeah. But oh, so you, no, 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 no. Yeah. So go on. You were but, saying. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I don't know. I just I never really cared for English, and I wish I wish I spent more time focusing on like my handwriting and being able to communicate better. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's never too late, really. That's the thing. That especially with on yeah, the online true. era with the internet. In, I mean, it's certainly easier to do it in a school environment or a uni environment, you know, mm -hmm. doing stuff on Coursera I mean, isn't the same motivation and so on, but you can still do it if, yeah. you, if the will is there. It's not like, you know, um, yeah, go ahead. My handwriting's just, it's, it's dropped because the only time I actually handwrite anything nowadays is when I'm in an exam, but during like the, the semester, I type everything. Yeah, well, that so makes sense. as soon as I have to go into, yeah, it's just, it's, it's aggravating. Well, I mean, to a degree, but yeah. I think that the same way that, I mean, there's, uh, the line isn't clear in a lot of situations, but like uh, back when humanity first began, like civilization, knowing how to make a fire was considered like basic and now, or like how to make tools out of flint or how to, I don't know, kill a, an animal. But now you ask a lot of most people, like, how do you do that? And none of them can do it. So the skills know, that are easy killing you, you, you get one flint and one iron and you put them oh. together and get them to <laughs> but um i mean the point i mean is that the skills that are considered quote unquote fundamental they change over time as like technology and society changes like back in the day mm -hmm. uh, i don't know knowing how to i'm thinking about the victorian era here what do they do just like own land or 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 work land yeah. but you know i don't know knowing the you know parts of the bible off by heart or all, all sorts of weird stuff that used to be considered you know or even you know the ancient greeks they memorized a lot of their like the tales off by heart and they didn't use writing and now when people discovered writing and reading their memories just took a massive plunge because you no longer used it 
the human brain can only do so much so like not to rationalize mm -hmm. i mean if you want to have good handwriting you can you know spend the time you know probably spend half a year and it'll be perfect if like you devote an hour of your time each day or every second day but like the question but, is okay are you prepared to spend that time I, sorry for, yeah and as we're still on the top of handwriting and i really need to point out just how bullshit it was uh, back in primary school having to learn cursive Oh, that doesn't the, the, help me at all nowadays. It was I don't so use it bad. at all, and it was a waste of my time. It probably made my handwriting worse. But yeah, sorry, I had to get that out of the system. No, I feel you, man. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I just had to take a good swig of the water bottle there. Good old cruise control. Green. <laughs> Jeez. Just so greedy with the thing. So, <laughs> um... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. The way that we learn uh, handwriting... It was strange. They just, uh, I mean, at least, because you were in you were in year five with us, were you? Or I forget. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, they year just gave. They just gave us the books, and then the teacher, in my to my memory, they just gave us these books to do ourselves, and then the, to top it off, they said that as soon as you were done, you could go play, and so naturally, what every kid at that age did was they took the the workbook, they just raced through it with no one watching, and then went to play. What else would you, you know? The purpose of like yeah. of schools and parenthood is that, you know, when you're 40, to a to a one year old kid, you're like you're 40 times older than them. My amazing math here, but I mean as you. As people's age difference changes numerically, you, you like the difference between a 41 year old and a 42 year old is like a percent is like two percent. But the difference between like a six year old and a 20 year old is like several orders of magnitude higher. And so, uh, being a human means interfacing with reality, and you have and sometimes cause and effect is delayed. It's like if you hit, if you smash your finger on like a door or, a f or burn it on a frying pan, that's pretty close. The brain like instantly recognizes at any age there's cause and effect. But there's shit you can do where the effect will only be apparent in a couple years. And only if you have somebody that's older than you that understands time better than you, can they make you, can like, they, that's what learning the times tables is. That's what's like learning literacy. Of course it's more fun to like just play or whatever, but you don't see the effect. And so I guess that's something that when, when, teachers or institutions don't give you the right skills it's because they weren't able to like get you to believe that this is going to bite you in the future so i don't know yeah it's a weird tangent to go on from handwriting but uh <laughs> i mean i feel the same way my russian handwriting is better than my english handwriting just because it was like drilled into me then and it i don't know i think that when i was t i was actually doing a short-lived teaching job here in moscow and they had the same teaching approach that has pervaded uh, Anglo-Saxon teaching for the longest time that uh, it shouldn't be the teacher instructing the children it should be the, ch the teacher being like a, a mediator they're just there in the background and the t students should do their own learning and I feel like that only works in certain cases it's a cool idea it's better than like you know 19th century just drilling into kids to memorize stuff that they hate but uh, sometimes that model doesn't work too I think yeah I feel like the only reason that's so popular is because you have like 20 kids and one teacher and the teacher can only focus on like actually teaching one kid at a time pretty much. Yeah, I mean, it's always, there's always the question of the lowest common denominator. Like when I became a teacher for a bit, I, I taught English, I realized like all of the, I finally saw my school years from a different perspective because uh, there was... A couple of kids that were really really advanced and there were a couple of kids that just hated the subject and they were only interested in math and not English and I'm like who should I be teaching to here because I can't get everybody at once like I'm being paid regardless of what I do and as long as I don't mess up too bad then I can really half-ass it but I don't want to do that because then I'll just feel bad as a person but like who am I trying to get here who am I trying to teach should I aim for the top? Yeah. Should they be bored? Should the kid at the bottom be bored and I just ignore them? Should I force them to like it? What can I do? And they were like, I think like 12 or something, but um, it's hard and you're not paid that much. Yeah. So unless you're a teacher at a private school, in which case, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, I mean, the Russian system yeah. is quite interesting I can't here. It's easy. in the here. Most people like, they're proficient in maths and of course I have a bias selection at uni but uh they're really proficient in mathematics and english and they're just in general and in russian and they're in general quite well rounded but the one thing they can't do is public speaking presentate their presentations just suck total ass they're walls of text 
and they just read from the slides. And the teachers do the yeah, same my, thing. My presentation was absolutely atrocious back in high school. Uh, but then, like, I don't know. I, I'm going to blame D&D. Because I started playing D&D &D, like, early when <laughs> That's I... That's the reason. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't personal yeah. choice or... Uh, no, no, it no, was D&D. No. It was D&D. And then... Come on, Gary, then, go, like, Gex. Uh, because of... Um, because of like uh, the course that I was doing, we had to do a lot of like we'd build something and then we'd have to present it in front of the lecturer, and that was our full mark for that course. Oh yeah, uh, which was awful, terrible way to teach. Jesus. But it meant you had to be really good at public speaking. Uh, and I am much more proud of my presentation skills now compared to like back in year eleven. Like yeah. it was just atrocious back then. Well, yeah, I mean it's a so it's yeah. a quote unquote soft skill that everybody looks down upon now. But I think that you know. Hard skills are certainly, they're harder to get and they're to a degree more important, quote unquote. But if you have two people that have identical, you know, abilities technically, but only one of them is sort of more charismatic and able to communicate with his colleagues, then the one with the soft skills is going to win. So, you know, mm. they're going to get the job. No, it's, it's important. Yeah. And it's, it's not really taught, you know. But you have to do it for English, at least here in Oz. But uh, they don't teach it. Yeah. They just assume that you do it. It's, it's, it's sort of like a learned art form rather than uh, something that you can open up a textbook for. I mean, there's textbooks for it, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not something you can practice in theory. You just have to do it in practice over and over. But yeah, yeah. Um, that was a long rant about education song, but it's certainly... <laughs> yeah, the informatics challenge yeah. was like in my head for quite a long time. It's somewhat... It's like disturbingly comforting to know that you struggled with it too. That's probably a horrible thing to say. <laughs> oh jeez, but um no I'm, yeah. but I'm genuinely glad that uh you know if that set you on a cool path like programming. So then you you did computer science the next year, right? Yeah. And so then, uh, yeah, I, I think informatics was just that one year, mm -hmm. and then it was computer science. A couple of our friends skipped year eleven computer science and jumped straight to year twelve, which is crazy. I don't know how they did it. Uh, jeez, but that wasn't me. I was lazy and I just did it the the straightforward path. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't know how lazy it is to, to to just do it the year by year. Jeez, it's so crazy to be in an environment with people that are just, you know, mm. light years ahead. In Well, I mean, in certain aspects, because it certainly gives you something to aim towards. So you did that, computer yeah. science, and then you, was this the, was it at this point that you decided I'm going to do this for uni? Or when, when did you lock in? Uh, I think it would have been, we did like a career progression course. Mm -hmm. I think early year 11. Yeah. And it was then that I was like, they gave you like some test or whatever. And mine was like, yeah, you should do something related to maths or computer science. And I was like, yeah, okay, that's cool. And I enjoy computer science and programming. Mm. Um, and then like year 12 came around and I needed to apply to uni. And I think I only applied to three unis in total. Jeez. This one in Sydney being one of them. Um, and miraculously, I managed to get in, and now I'm here, Damn. five years later. So, does, yeah. so you're doing your masters now, or is it just an extended bachelor's thing? I've, you've mentioned it no, to me no. before. It's uh, it, it's just honors. Um, honors. Oh, so that's an additional so, year. Yeah. Yeah, bachelor honors. Uh, so it's it's normally four years, mm -hmm. but uh, I failed a few courses, so here I am, for the uh, the final few courses before I'm free. Damn, son. To rid myself of this Scorch. terrible place. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember back in like first year, I was so excited, loving all of it. But now it's like the only stuff I have left to do are all the bad courses. Oh, so damn. my enjoyment's it's down. Oh, that's a yeah. shame. But I mean, how have, how would you rate your <laughs> experience overall? Very good. Uh, I, I have enjoyed the majority of my courses. Not all of them, but the majority. Oh, yeah. And I feel like... I feel like it could have been taught better, but it was taught good enough. Well, I mean, I, f I feel like that's a general sentiment that I've heard from so many people, uh, including a girl that's studying at Cambridge University. She's studying mathematics. Uh, and she didn't come onto the podcast for fear of ruining her future career as a scientist. And I'm like, yeah, I feel well, like she didn't regret <laughs> if anything, future employers, it's all on me. Any any crazy stuff I say, it, it it's on me, not on Troy here. He he was never he never agreed to this. Um, I don't even know this guy. He's got me kidnapped. 
Yep, that's it. In his basement. I told him that I would kill his entire future family if he didn't come on the podcast. So that's it. You can just use that recording. Have you seen Ozark, Troy? I haven't. I've seen it on Netflix, but I haven't watched a single episode. I, I, the day that I opened it up, I binge watched six episodes, and they're like an hour long. That's the first time that's Jeez. happened to me in a very long time. But um, it's always fun when you find a show that catches you like that, though. Oh like, yeah. I think for sure. uh, the Good Place was the last one that I can remember where I think it was back when season one and two were out. Is that the I one watched... with Danny DeVito? Donny DeVito, Danny. Is that no, the no, this is the one uh, about the comedy in heaven by the guy, Michael Schur, the guy who made uh, The Office. Oh, okay. Yeah, very good. I recommend watching it because I think that the finale end of last year or early this year, very, very, like one of the few shows that has a spectacular ending that lives up to everything that came before. Oh, damn. But uh, season one and two were out, and I binge watched, they're only like 20 minute episodes each, like maybe 12 episodes a season. Oh, yeah. So I was able to like binge watch season one and two in one night, and I'm like, man, that's so good. When season three, turns out season three was the very next week. I was like, oh, oh that's man, I'm looking so forward delicious. to it. That is so, so lucky. good. Yeah. That's like the opposite of this webcomic that I like to read. I've been reading it for several years now, and I just love it. I'm but... stuck. Uh, no, I, I could never get into Homestuck, and I remember I once shat on it to, like, I was, it was so bad of me. I could have sworn it was you who got me into it. Yeah, I found out like, about oh, it. You gotta, you gotta read this. Yeah, I found out about it, but you oh. were, like, way more, like, you, you, you went into it, and I just, like, skimmed across the surface. It was cool, but it yeah. didn't suck me in far enough to, like, read the whole thing. I remember, you were, you were so deep into it. You loved that stuff. I think I read it over like one summer holiday Jeez. and I was like, wow, that's cool. When's the next one? And he's like, oh, it's like probably a couple of years. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then I stopped. I don't think, I don't think I finished it because they came out with the finale. Yeah. I, uh, maybe it's good. I just watched the ending. I was like, that's, because it was cool, but it was like, I don't know. But the webcomic that I was reading, Every like couple of months, I forget about it because the dude like spends a week or a month on every page, like from a week to a month. And so I open it up and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And I'm loving every page. Like there's never a page where I'm just reading it to get to the next plot point. Every page is amazing. And then I get to the end and it's not even the end of the chapter. And I'm just like, now I've got to wait another year. But yeah, good art takes a long time. Okay, so do you want to pick the next one? Uh, let's just get okay. a shorter one here in terms of time. Yeah, okay. Carbonated water. 21, no, 21, beans. 21 tons. Beans? Go ahead. Do you have control? I want to do the beans if that's not too long. Can I? I don't think I have control. Okay, let's fix that. Oh, I'll have an extra chunky episode with you. The thick episode. <laughs> the thick one. T I C C. We we're gonna get a streamer. Oh, you wanna oh, take the job? Fuck the lag. Oh yeah, enjoy that. Oh my god, I thought I didn't have control and you were moving the mouse. So okay. it's take job down here. Let me just help you yep. out here. I'll get there eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I there was this streamer that had been on Linus Tech Tips, and I've said this story before, but I'll say it again. Uh, so it's E to start the engine and WAST to move. And then square brackets. Let's turn the lights on. L. <laughs> yep. Okay. And then uh, just the west and square brackets to indicate. Oh, I'm not going to indicate. Do we get fined? Uh, actually, let me turn the fines back on. Hold on. One oh, second. shit. I shouldn't have reminded you. <laughs> just because I forgot about that. I, I was wondering why uh, traffic offense. Yeah, there we go. Good old okay, thanks. Minutes. Yeah, no worry. <laughs> thanks for asking. Thank you. Okay, I assume we're going this way. Man, yeah, there's, this you got the bad. GPS in the bottom right. So yeah, uh, I messaged this streamer that had, I think, you know, something like 40,000 40, <laughs> subscribers. That. Yeah. And yeah. the name, that was what, that was what turned her off. The fake birds and political refugees. And she must have thought that we were running like a small scale version of Infowars. But, um, you know. I mean, to be fair, you are. That's what this is. <laughs> you see, that's a red light right there. That's that's 540 euros yeah. you've just been fined. How much are we getting paid? How many red lights can I speed through? Oh, we're being paid a, a lean mean, uh, I think. Um, 
it's give way here. I think you, you, you've given way. It's probably something like yeah, you 4,000 euros, but keep in mind that we've also got crippling debt because we bought a truck. <laughs> we took a bank loan on one... We took a bank loan somewhere like two months ago, and we're still paying it back on the podcast. <laughs> I didn't even... and Like, I didn't even think. I thought I was going to... I wanted to preview a truck, but I accidentally just bought the thing. So <laughs> here we are now, <laughs> and it's, and it's not so even this truck. truck. This this is a different no, 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 truck. because these are rented trucks that the companies give you to do a delivery, and if you break them, then they just pay for the repairs. But if it's your own truck, you know, guests come on and they break the truck, and it costs more than the delivery to fix like twenty percent damage. So I, so it's right here. Oh yeah, this I'll hill. Do my best. This hill. This infamous hill. Oh, fuck. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it, this is so bad. The lag. I feel like... Let me just talk about here. Let me just give you the... This This should assist you. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. Just. I'll be honest, that's, that's worse. Really? I mean, I think yeah, that this like is the optimal. Yeah, I like seeing the wheel. No, it's fine. I mean, really, this <laughs> is... You. I think... Is it I mean, this is... Oh, this, is <laughs> this is better. <laughs> I think this is just... Jesus optimal. Christ! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh, oh, watch out on car. the left there. Oh, he yeah. stopped. He freaked worry, out. They... What would you do yeah, if a truck up. was driving like this? <laughs> you can actually... I'm just imagining like me and you sitting in like the, the, the front of this truck. And I'm trying to drive and you're like pushing my face to look at weird shit. What do you like, mean? Oh, I, look at that I mean, look at the, look at the <laughs> disc machine. We can plug in some great tunes. It'd be great. Oh, Oof. Okay. But yeah, so now you someone, yeah, go ahead. Someone's gonna die at some point. We're gonna need a car. A pedestrian. I hope to someday reach like an episode of this podcast where <laughs> no, that would be horrible. Can you just imagine that on Joe Rogan, they get like some old dude on the podcast and he just expires like halfway through. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and then they decide to upload it, and because of like the format, he just keeps Joe Rogan just keeps on talking about DMT and monkeys, and he's like, I saw this great thing. Man, you don't like to talk a lot, do you? And then, like, Jamie cuts to the camera feed of the dead guy. <laughs> now, that's peak Eric Andre. Oh, G oh, Jesus. I have watched, I think, every episode of the Eric Andre show. That shit is amazing. It, it really is my kind of humor. People suffering. <laughs> it, it really is. It's just yeah. so absurd and weird and just... It makes no... The, the one bit that I don't like is the ranch one. Because, I don't know. The ranch one is weird. The, the burn-up yeah. thing. It's like it's weird and bird it isn't. Up. Bird up. Hey, bro, Tendo. <laughs> you want to go to Coachella? <laughs> I'm playing Call of Duty in VR here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ranch. The best one, uh, have you seen many of them? The Eric Andre show? Yeah, I've seen a lot of them. Yeah. Have you seen the one with the cereal? He gets like a dog collar. Uh, when, oh god, and then he's like and then he in the subway. And he fills and he and says, he's the, he's the yeah, cereal yeah. guy. He's like, eat me. Yeah, yeah, eat the, me. Eat from me. <laughs> that's it. It's, oh, geez, that's he, worse. He, come, Somehow that's he comes worse. in and he's like, I have some bad news to tell everyone. And everybody's like, oh fuck, what is this? And he has I like a. Uh, joke. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the job. Oh, oh shit. Oh, you, you break the man. Perfect. Um, uh, enter. enter. Yep. And he's like, uh, there we go. eat from me, eat from me, let me be your consumption. And then the people are just backing away from him and people are like, get the fuck away from me, man. Uh, jeez. He's actually done a movie. Uh, I forget the name, but it's, it's like, it has a storyline, but it's actually a series of sk skit, uh, pranks that have been combined into a movie, uh, with it, like an underlying plot. And it was going to come out now, but because of Corona, it's been delayed. It reminds me of the uh, Between Two Ferns. Oh yeah, movie. Oh, you there was a that movie. Oh, yeah, shit, son. it's actually pretty good. Oh damn, I might um, check it out. Between Two Ferns. I didn't like... get the joke at first. It made me like really uncomfortable. I'm like, how could they talk to people like this? <laughs> I can't. I can't believe they got Barack Obama on that show. Oh, that is insane. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's better because you couldn't get Barack Obama onto the onto the Eric Andre show. They just like. <laughs> The things I that they would do that to would, him. That would be so great, though. But it would be know? a felony. <laughs> it has to be illegal to, like, <laughs> get the felony. son of Obama to, like, yeah. tickle the taint. They did that with Jimmy Fallon. They got Jimmy Jesus. Fallon's son uh, as an assistant, and they got him to tickle the taint of Jimmy Fallon through the chair. 
What? Eric Andre specifically set it up so it was his son to tickle his taint during the entire thing under the thing, under, during the sh during the show through the seat. That's pretty fucked up. Oh, there's some stuff that they've done there that uh, the one thing that like uh, when Eric Andre to oh you're speeding a bit there Troy. It's C for cruise control by the way. Get that faster. If you just want to lock oh, in the speed. That helps. Cruise yeah. control helps. Yeah. Yep. Um, the one thing that they didn't let Eric Andre do because it, like his lawyers told him he couldn't do that was to have two tr uh, tran transvestites have uh, intercourse just naked during the show in front of some rapper. And they were like, no, nah, we can't do that. There's like, there has to be consent yeah. and like this. The, the coolest one though was when they were talking with some celebrity and then he lifts up the table and there's like a a little person wearing the co that's like Eric Andre with the same uh, suit and then there's like a little person that's the guest as a woman like in a and they look and they have a mini table and they're just copying each other have you seen that <laughs> it's crazy I don't think I've seen that one I've seen the uh, other one when they have like knockoff versions of themselves Jesus it's a wild show yeah but getting back to you so now you're gonna do your honors and now you're a fully fledged software oh you've done them now you're just doing the classes yeah. that are left. And so what uh, yeah. what languages do you... I'm, I'm so tech illiterate. What languages do you know? What computers can you... Do, do you work on Mac? I know... Do you, can, you, can you cable things? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I know uh, Python. That's a mm -hmm. nice, delicious language. So easy. Yeah. Uh, C. My, my uni pretty much just taught C. Mm -hmm. I know a bit of Java. Uh, a bit of C++. A bit of C Sharp. Oh, um... Yeah. But one language I never learned was English. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, if it if it does eat you up so much, because I've had stuff that's eaten me up since high nah, school. Nah, like, I'm cool with it. Up. It's weird. My, when, when I program, there's like no spelling mistakes somehow. But like when I got to write an essay, man. Like I look at, I, I proofread, I proofread my thesis many times. And there were so many mistakes that I just didn't notice. Like when I try to read it, I, I just don't see it. So I think... Wasn't it that trick where like you change the font to something super ugly to look at, so that you I have to look at that. each letter? Damn. Yeah, I heard about it. It's like um. Oh, you make it look like it's eighteen hundreds or something. Oh jeez. Old English. Eye. Oh god, the engine malfunction. It's happened pretty late this time. Usually we bust up the truck quite early. <laughs> How bad is it busted? Oh, it's busted enough to turn off on its own during while driving. You already know that the engine's in a bad state when you got that going. Yeah, I think. Do you think it might have something to do with the toll booth? Maybe. I have a. I, I have think, a sneaking I suspicion. Yeah. <laughs> Sue the toll. <laughs> Sue the toll booth. Yeah. Uh, if you're a toll, if your uh, little uh, swing thing hadn't been there when we were going at it at uh, 80 kilometers an hour, this situation would not have happened. You need to take responsibility yeah. for your actions. Uh, it's a shame this game doesn't Man, have. have you... Yeah. Go ahead. Have you, uh, what the fuck's sake? Have you watched uh, Better Call Saul? Uh, I started watching it. I watched all of Breaking Bad and I loved it. And uh, now I'm thinking yeah. of getting into Saul. But it looks a highly, bit... Highly, highly recommend it. Yeah? The first episode was it's, crushing. In my though. opinion, uh, the first one. Well, like, the first episode I started watching it, just, like, the state that he's in, I'm like, oh, God, this is so painful. I felt so sorry for him. Like, the depressing, sort of trapped situation that he was in. Yeah, so, so you don't, at the very beginning, first episode of each season, you see, like, five minutes of Gene, which is uh, Saul in his, like, under, like, hiding thing in the future. Oh, yeah. Uh, but apart from that, it's all essentially a prequel set in, like, the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I, I, highly, I highly recommend it. Season one is a bit slow. Yeah. But by the time you get to, like, season two, season three... It really ramps up, and that it's, in my opinion, I both Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul are great shows. Oh, yeah. But I think um, I think Better Call Saul is like the acting in that show and the the writing is just incredible. Oh, yeah. it, but it's it's a, di a very different kind of story. Oh, okay. Because uh, in in Breaking Bad, I actually rewatched it back in uh, January, February. Damn. Son. Um, Walter White is an asshole since the start. Like, he's the protagonist, so a bunch of people, when they're watching, were like, oh, we got to root for him, but he's, I think he's an he... awful person since episode one. Well, I mean, um, he slowly gets corrupted. 
I thought I don't. Do you think that he was he's awful funny. from the beginning? I I think he's always been awful because like, I remember there was a couple times in early early on where I'm like, wow, that's just a, an absolutely awful thing for him to do. Well, like for example, he's not even spoilers here for Breaking Bad if you haven't seen it in the seven years that it's come out. But uh, go on. He's just he's so petty, and he has a giant ego, and uh, he he has a very fragile ego, and that's clear since the very beginning of season one mm. it's just the way he goes about acting on that uh, as he becomes this big kingpin uh he ha- has more ability to be more cruel to really hurt people and i think that's the only thing that changed was just the extent of what he can do and get away with mm. uh, but breaking bad perspective i think breaking bad is you know it's a story of walt who is an awful person doing awful things and jesse's like the really the protagonist like maybe not the main character, but he's the guy who you really root for. Um, whereas in Breaking Bad, there's like you said Saul. Breaking Bad. Which one? In Better Call, yeah. in Better Call Saul, there's Saul, who's like the title character. Oh fuck! Sorry, what was I'm the motivation there? I just don't understand how. The, I mean. I haven't experienced the input like that badly yet. I played with Phaedra a bit. But, like, what made you just take that perpendicular turn into perdition? It's because I'm using a keyboard. Oh, okay. And, like, Fair enough. 300 milliseconds of ping. That's, That's painful. true. That is true. Uh, I tried, I corrected and then overcorrected oh. and then overcorrected again. That's what happened. Oh, jeez. But, um, Better Call Saul is more about, like, you really see this person who at the start is flawed. But he is a nice person, and then over the course of the show, he really becomes just just awful. Oh yeah. And um, at the end, I think it was season five or season six, which was this year. Uh, it's the second last season, and it's set up for a very interesting place for the show to go next year. I'm very okay. looking forward to it. Oh, so it's still going. Highly recommend it. Yeah, there's still one season left. Damn, uh, next so. year is the, the. I think it was supposed to be next year, but with all the delays going oh, yeah, on, yeah. it might be postponed. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Walter. I think that y- you're with the pharmacy thing. That I think that really set him off. That he felt, screw. He felt that he had been permanently screwed over in life, and that sort of justified. That was his justification mm. for what he did. Because I mean, before I guess he was. I mean, in, with his son as well, because he had some condition. I forget what it was. And so I guess he felt like... Yeah, and he Yeah. And he had been mm. handed that it, right here. Uh, and Yeah, like he's yeah. someone who was screwed over yeah. uh, by a lot of things. But, but I mean, the way he chose to deal with that was, you know... Yeah. But uh, yeah. Uh, th- there is that scene when he's at the clinic getting chemo, and there's this dude that's like... Uh, uh, I don't know what to do, you know, I guess, I forget the exact wording, but he was like, there's nothing I can do, it's out of my control, and Walter turns to him and he says, you know, everything that I've done now, oh, this could be the end of us, this could be our undoing. <laughs> 26%. Yeah, just, Ugh, I this, swear this I wasn't bus trying. is just like, should we, should we go? Should we just, oh, here we go, depth perception 101. Yeah. Uh, figuring out 3D oh, and shit. a 2D projection. This guy's just like, could you? That engine, hold on, that... That engine doesn't sound good. You, what is with oh, this guy's fuck. proportions? Hold on. Oh, he's going for it. This lady just wants Thanks. to get out. These people. Yeah. <laughs> Which, wouldn't this game be so much better if you could give the middle finger? It would be. Oh, fuck. Modders, get onto okay. that. Okay, let's figure this one out. Take it nice and slow and steady. <laughs> you know what? We're just... Oh, jeez. Okay. It's the it's the uh, the truck part. If we could remove the truck part, this would be a lot easier. <laughs> Can we get on that? Rico? Just un, 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 <laughs> just leave it there. <laughs> Hold up. Just drive in and like. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready for my four thousand euros, and they're just like. But where, where's the trailer? Oh, I left it back there. You can grab it if you want, but uh, it was causing me some difficulties. <laughs> Jesus. We got to It's very important we deliver this. Oh yep. fuck. Oh yeah, it's fine. It's, uh, it's fine. very important that we deliver these beans. People need them. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah, the beads starts. That'll be the worst thing to spill out. Yeah. It wouldn't like because like oil. That's just like dangerous. <laughs> but she was just like these beans. No. <laughs> Some guy comes in. God, and starts could you eating imagine? Them. He's right? like, no, go if away. We... Those are my beans. <laughs> go ahead. Could you imagine if we like completely tipped over back there when we hit that? 
and like some poor guy is coming home from work and then just his windshield is splattered with baked beans. <laughs> what a day, huh? Uh, no, th that's that's the secret backstory we needed for why Walter White is just so awful. It was the baked beans all along. He got, he got wasn't beans it, wasn't one any day. Of the, money or anything else was the baked beans it was the beans yeah. he got absolutely beaned <laughs> get beaned <laughs> uh, yeah that's the episode <laughs> title right there you've done it you've done it oh okay yep. i'm glad i could contribute something oh shit get him out take him out yeah you took him out <laughs> oh shit we're speeding quite fast oh it's fine you it's i fine. just hold w oh, there we go much better Imagine explaining it to the. Uh, imagine hooking up a keyboard to like a Tesla and just you know using West and you're explaining to like the police officer. Son, do you know how fast you were going? And it's like, oh, sorry, officer, I was just holding W. What do you mean you're holding W? And you're just like, uh, and you're like in Missouri with your Tesla. And he's like, what do you mean your car runs on electricity? Where, where is your gas, son? Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. <laughs> You can get a lot of very angry messages from. Uh, we don't speak like that out in the central co states. We, ne contrary to popular belief, we ain't all uh, idiots. Nah, like the craziest thing is um, the Texans and like people from Car from North Carolina uh, that have like these southern drawls, but they're genius level engineers and they're just like yeah you need to take the second integral of your velocity to figure out where you're positioned uh, relative to mercury and like there are phaedra's um family like part of her family they they they're from like a central state and part of her family they're all these like genius engineers and um it's just weird i don't know to have that so uh, you know it's weird how we associate a lot of qualities with certain accents you know we're doing it don't tell anyone, Rico. It's breaking the law here. Yeah, just just go for it. Oh, <laughs> you're just like you're running a red light, and there's a police dude behind you. Like, oh, gun fuck. it, and your engineer, your engineer, your engine malfunctions. Okay. Okay, so there's gonna so be now, as tradition, I need to. I need to try to do it manually, right? Of course. Have you tried to do it? Why the fuck would I try never? To... <laughs> and my no, I've... you don't have lag. So, oh, God. oh no, I don't. Yeah. Okay. I want you. I want you to promise me that the next time, the the next episode of this, you do it on the most uh, the most difficult. difficult parking one. You reckon? I want to see how you do. Oh geez. Yeah, I think you can do it. It would just be a full episode. I think you can. I have your blessing. Okay. <laughs> it's like a half hour bonus clip. Just oh, yeah. you trying to park. Oh Jesus! It's already telling you that you can skip. It's 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 lost faith in you before you've begun. Here we go. I haven't even gotten here. Five God, years so of higher awful. education. Can he do it? This is, ladies and gentlemen, he can program in multiple languages. Uh, he can probably oh, fix your PC, ladies. You've got no, a loose HDMI I can cable. You can't fix it. No, 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 no. Software and hardware are essentially the same thing. You either know tech or you don't. That's how it works, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, how do you uh, change the camera? Um, okay, so it's Alt Shift Caps Lock, Num Lock. And there you go. It's two. Oh wow. It's two. It's, okay. <laughs> it's just. It's it's one okay. to nine, I think. I the, see. The things. Okay. Wish me luck. Oh fuck! I immediately messed I'm up. I'm not sure if luck will help I'm you here. I'm immediately doing <laughs> the wrong thing. Oh god. It'll be fine. It'll the camera's fine. changing. Okay, so the trick here is. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I just imagine like you press a button and it opens up the back of the trailer and it, the beans just like pour out onto that area and, and onto the asphalt and you're just like I delivered the beans just chunky beans I need the wheel for this one. Oh my god. Oh god ladies and gentlemen can you do it can you do it gotta make everyone proud oh god <laughs> I can, with extreme difficulty. You might need to turn the other way, so like, don't worry. Your your it's your fine. frontal truck can sort of point it out. Yeah, yeah. No, that's just making it worse. You might oh, want to you might want to go the oh. reverse the full thing and then straighten up as yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Does it need to be exactly there? Because we're pretty close. It <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, it, it, <laughs> it gives you a bit of leeway, but uh, not yeah. that much leeway. God, this is awful. Oh, well, imagine doing this for a living without this camera perspective. I have much respect. Much respect. Yeah, much respect to truckers out there. All you truck buddies that are... This podcast would not be possible without it. So. Yep. Cheers. Thank you guys for delivering stuff. Um, despite the fact that your jobs are in danger of being replaced by AI. That must suck ass. It's... Okay. it's oh, <laughs> we did it! <laughs> they they were happy with AI. it. Wow. Satisfactory! Yeah. We did it. Hey, that was not satisfactory, I'd like to point out. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Can we lost beans. 71 XP from the damage. Oh, but we did get, we got a sum total of 178, so you know. That's just the brain damage Slowly that we got. Surely. We, we got. we lost a bit did of we level up? Are we Have we? I think we're just on the tip of that. We just need uh, oh, three more EXP to level up. <laughs> we need 71 F EXP and we would have got it. Oh, Damn. Jesus. Damn, oh. son. Next time. Well, there we go. This Get get the nukes. I want nukes. Oh my we god. We did baked beans this this episode. Next episode I wanna do nukes. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, how bad could it be? <laughs> what the I'm worst that could happen? Look look at our guy. Look at our avatar. We're Yeah, we the, the running situation is that the reason you can't leave the truck in in truck buddies is because <laughs> we're actually a quadriplegic that's struggling and he decided instead of committing suicide that he would change his turn his life around and he became a truck buddy and he's now he started his own company and now he he's, became a truck he, <laughs> he melded with the truck and now against all odds his you know he, he has no family no friends he's fucking trucking along trying to become the best trucker in the world one step at a time and one day he's gonna make millions and show everybody that you know he you know he can survive even with a face like that, he's he's a hero. Yeah, he truly is a truck buddy. He is. Speaking of truck buddies that are fantastic, uh, today's episode is brought to you by Squid no. <laughs> Um <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Troy. Uh, any closing thoughts, Troy? Um, no. Fantastic. No, I don't. I don't really have those. Ripping. <laughs> <laughs> rip roaring content uh thank you so much for being on the podcast troy uh i truly treasure our friendship and it's been a fantastic opportunity to talk about some stuff today both personal and uh, uh beans um so it's been a great one uh i hope we get to record right. another episode uh soon and uh that's gonna be it for today uh remember to leave a like subscribe comment and do all the other crazy stuff if you feel so inclined if not then um you know, do it anyway. Uh, and uh, this has been Truck Buddies. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one. Peace.